I'm Brad with AB Suppressor. Today we're going to take another look at our Raptor series of suppressors. These are all in 762. We have a 2 stack, a 4, a 6, an 8, and a 10. We also have a flush mount, a 1 inch reflex, a 2 inch reflex, 3 inch reflex, 4 inch, and 5 inch reflexes. To compare these, we're going to use a Dead Air Sandman S. Now, this will give us an opportunity to shoot the Sandman S, uh, same day, same meter, same gun, uh, exact same conditions. And um, if it were my choice, uh, my first choice would be to shoot it against our 8 stack. Uh, we will also shoot it today against a 6 stack. And for fun, we're going to show the, uh, the 4 stack. Uh, for mounts, we will also shoot a flush mount, a 2 inch reflex, and a 3 inch reflex. Now that we've selected our suppressors, let's have a look at the weight, the length, and the DB. For DB, we're going to shoot three different calibers. Subsonic 300 Blackout, 6.5 Creedmoor, and 308 Winchester. Let's go to the range and see how the results come out. Let's talk about weights next. 
When we talk about weight though, we talk about everything that you have to add to the firearm, including the suppressor. So here's the Sandman S, along with its mount. That's 22 ounces. First we'll go with our Raptor 8 stack with the 3 inch reflex. That's 13.05 ounces. Now let's replace that reflex with a flush mount. It takes us down to 9.6 ounces. Next we'll do the 6 stack with a 2 inch reflex. Puts us at 11.45. And then finally let's go to that 4 stack with a 3 inch reflex. It puts us at 10.65 ounces. When we talk about length we talk about the added length to the farm because that's really what matters. So if we take the Sandman S, you can see where it'll come back to. Now, we also have a flush mount option for the guys that have a gas block up here on, say, an SBR or a, a very large barrel and we just can't get a reflex on them. But what we do prefer to do is to go ahead and take the reflex and be able to slide it over the barrel. We like to consider this free real estate. This is added expansion chamber for the blast chamber itself. So, if we want to get really long with it, we can actually take a 5 inch reflex, slide that all the way over to where it goes inside the handguard. And when you do that, you will find that this is free real estate. It gives a nice finished look to the firearm, but the room under the handguard is almost free real estate you didn't even really know about it that you don't see. But again, it's just larger chamber for the blast chamber. So let's go ahead and take this combination of suppressors. Let's go to the board and see how they measure up. First thing we'll do is we'll zero the muzzle on the board and give us our starting point. Let's put the Sandman S on there and see how it measures up. Now for comparison, we're gonna start with the flush mount eight stack. Now we're gonna do the eight stack, but we're gonna add a three inch reflex. And see how the length really didn't change, but the suppressor got much longer now let's go to a 6 stack with a 2 inch reflex so it's shorter on the front and on the back now we'll go to a 4 stack back to a 3 inch reflex now together you can see that although the suppressor overall length did change the added length to the suppressor is really what's important so that's our testing for today we enjoy doing this kind of stuff and uh, we'd really like to thank the Sandman as for helping us out it, it gives some context to the data that we're showing and it's just not a fictitious number um, so what we did shoot today everything was 762 raptors this was the eight stack and we call it an eight stack because there are actually eight spirals or eight baffles that we weld together to create the uh, suppressor we shot the six stack with six spirals we shot a four stack we shot three different mounts today a three inch reflex, a two inch reflex, and a flush mount. Appreciate you guys watching this video and we hope to see you in the field or on the range sometime.